Hello everyone and welcome to this, the final episode in 2018 of my RuneScape series, taking place on the final day of the year, conveniently enough. Now it has been a, a, a bit of a crazy year for me, not going to lie, but we still got quite a lot done. Specifically, we got up to 2505 total level, 133 combat, and 261 quest points for this year. For comparison, on the very first episode of this year, I had 2249 as my total level, so I gained 256 levels so far there. I was only combat 119, so I gained 14 levels, and I was at 205 quest points, so I gained 56 of those. So, you know, despite it being a rough year with a lot of gaps between episodes, I still made relatively good progress. As you can see, my invention is rising quickly right now, and I'm already up to 105 fishing, and inching closer to 106 already. We're also very close to fletching 100, so that's pretty cool. Mostly because of celebration lamps, I think, have been inching me ever closer. Now, as far as 99s go, I think really the only 99 I got this year was thieving, because cooking... Well, no, we got fishing too, right? Yeah, thieving and fishing. Cooking, I got it on January 1st, but only because I held off the last little bit of XP, so I'm counting that as a uh, 2017 99. Yeah, we got two 99s, so basically we doubled our 99s this year. And we're also very close. Like, this would take a few hours to get of Dominion Tower. Because that's like over 200k XP per trip through the tower. So that that would be easy. I could get that anytime I wanted. It's just not a high priority because I've been dumping that XP into Prayer, which is also very close to a level. And a little bit into defense as well. But yeah, so going into this new year... Obviously, we're going to look into getting Magic 99. We'll be getting Herb Lord in 99 for sure. I've been dumping so much XP into that skill. It's crazy, but it's about to hit 98, and then uh, it'll just be the final stretch there. You know, I suspect that by the end of 2019, we will have probably all 99s. We'll have a max cape, unless a new skill comes out, which is not looking likely. But yeah, it would not surprise me if that's how things go. We probably won't have all 120s for the, uh, like, Invention, Slayer, and Dungeoneering, but I would be surprised if we get through next year without getting all 99s. It's going to be a very crazy year. But also, you know, money-wise, we made a lot of progress. I've upgraded my equipment a lot. We got a few abilities, and just, uh, things went really well this year. And I'm very happy that, you know, it, it kind of looked bad for a while there, but in the end... Being able to do the fishing training and actually earn money from it has really helped motivate me a lot. That Grace of the Elves has changed my life. But anyway, so rather than just talk about that for this episode, I decided we would do three of the four remaining um, Ardoin elite tasks that I have, which is two runecrafting ones and one uh, fletching one. So let's go ahead and go on over to Sears Village, because I think that's around where we need to be, that general area. I'm actually not sure. I know we have to do something fletching related, and this feels like the place to do that, but uh, that's the wrong one. I do need to do some of these things. Where am I going? Go to achievements. Oh no, it wants me to do in Witch Haven. Okay. See, I didn't realize that. You can do stuff in Witchhaven, apparently. I do look forward to the trees going back to normal. It always feels like it dates my videos having the entire world be themed around a holiday for a month. I've actually started doing the farm again, which I had stopped doing for a while, but now I am. Not much, but I am doing. Okay, can we get a move on here? Alright, so, we need to make sinew. We have the stuff for making sinew. What? This is on the wrong one. I'm going to fix that right now. I think we just have to cook it. And this should be a cooking spot here. Oh, that was something, is they added, um, a setting. I've never seen this setting, but supposedly they added it. I don't know where it would be. Legacy map icon. Yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. I mean, 
I kind of wish they would do like HD revisions of these because they do look kind of crappy on this map size, but I don't know. At this point, I'm not sure if I really have a need for it just because I've been using it for so long. Okay, can we... Oh, door's locked. Can I get inside? Yes. Okay, I need to cook at your cooking range. Sorry. That's a reason to break in, right? Yeah, sinew. All right, so we've made sinew. Um, it's this one, right? All right, so now that that didn't count. Why didn't that count? Did I seriously find like one place where it just doesn't work? Oh wait, in Yanil. It's an Arduin task. Why does it have to be in Yanil? Great. Now I have to go freaking kill a cow. Luckily, I know where one is. But it's all the way down there. This is stupid. Why is it that every time I do achievements, I'll misread something and waste a lot of time because of it? I don't know. It is just the way things are. The one we're not doing is we're not doing the fishing trawler today because the fishing trawler thing takes 12 minutes and I might fail. And that, that'll be its own episode, probably a few episodes from now. We'll do a couple quests and then we'll go ahead and get back to that. The quest we'll be doing will probably be, um, is it Tale of the Muspaw and um, the Ice Mountain one, Perils of Ice Mountain. Those are the two quests I think we'll be doing in the next two episodes, unless things happen differently. Of course, we do have the mining and smithing <clears throat> beta um, to check out, if it's still going. But the actual update's coming out soon, so it's kind of like, uh, do I even bother checking out the beta at this point? I don't know. Thing is, checking out in-game is really no different from checking out in beta. So, yeah. And I don't know if I should need to dedicate a whole episode to it or not. Like, everyone's gonna know what it is at the time. You know it's in the game. Alright, I think we can cook in here. It is the cooking place, so logically they would have range. Alright, let's try this again with this arbitrary requirement. There we go. It still didn't say it down here, though. Which is weird, because normally it would. Alright, so we need to fletch the U-logs into a stock. I don't think there's, like, a specific order you have to do things in. Alright, so we use stock. Getting us really close to that fletching level there. Alright, um, next up. Okay, so we have to spin the sinew into a crossbow string, smith the rune bar into crossbow limbs, string the crossbow. I'm assuming Witchhaven has the stringing thing. The, uh, the, the loom? No, it's not a loom, it's a spinning wheel. That's, that is the device I was thinking of. I would assume so, otherwise I don't know what's going on. The Witchhaven requirement. Alright, Runite limbs. Alright, get on there. Okay, now, uh... Let's check on the map real quick before we go all the way over there. Um, Witch Haven. Yeah, there is a spinning wheel. The least used spinning wheel in the world, probably. Because I never use it. Alright, um, go back to Ardoin, please. I think we are done here. I assume we had to use this for the range or the anvil. Or both. I would assume there's no ammo. Anvil? Ammo. I can't talk. This is the problem that I always record right after I wake up, and my brain's not awake yet. Come on, I'm stuck. Ate that. Never used to be a problem. Where you just get stuck on the load stones. They say it's because you have the loading screens turned off, but the game didn't used to need loading screens. You used to be able to just start running immediately, and it would load the stuff in later. At some point, they change it to where now you get stuck. There was the uh, 2019 
you know, looking forward thing on updates. They, they're going to finally update fire making to have some new stuff, which is interesting. And the balloon transport, which, you know, every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, that needs an update. I think they're going to turn it into a training method instead of trying to make it a better transport method. That's my interpretation of what they said. And make a crossbow. Hooray! Almost made an Arnold. Yeah, except not even remotely, because you didn't let me. Um. Oh, we did get Fletching Laundry. When did that happen? It didn't even, like, make a noise. That's lame. It usually makes a noise. I wonder what that's about. Oh well. We can now make nothing! Yay! It's a virtual level. Alright, so, on to the next thing. These are both... Hey, why am I on this one again? These are both, uh... This stuff. Orania Altar. That's the word I'm looking for. They're Orania Altar related. Let's go ahead and head on over to the Kandoran Monastery. It's the quickest free teleport to get over there, unless you uh, happen to be near a spirit tree. But yes, let's get on over there and figure out how to do these. I do realize now that I do have a problem. And uh, there's no bank over here for the solution. So we're going to have to really quickly jump on over to the Grand Exchange to solve this problem. The problem being I need Pure Essence. You get a lot of XP if you train a lot, like a lot of AFK training, and you get the paper and add it to that. You get so much stuff. Also, it looks like I it. Assuming that they've counted what I added. That's the thing is, there's like cycles, and I'm never on at the right time. But what, what did we get? We got, wow, eggs, roast potatoes, and a piece of coal. Yeah, real junk. This thing's really not worth doing except for the XP. But the XP is quite nice. It got me my 91 construction a couple days ago. Oh, uh, right, what am I doing? Just give me, I don't know, 10 pure essence there. Good enough. Um, And back we go. And now we can head on over there. Intent that we have hopefully prepared everything properly. I never use these abyssal summoning guys, so hopefully that's just how it works. You just storm in there and then use it. Also, I had to buy this giant pouch from Wizard Korvac over in the Runecrafting Guild. It cost me a whole 50k coins for something that I really don't need. I cannot stand regular Runecrafting training. Anyway, I was talking about the uh, year ahead stuff. They only did like through February, I think, or was it March? What month did they in? Introduction to 2019, that's what they called it. All right, they had beyond February. Yeah, they're gonna rework the completionist capes. So hopefully they do something to where you can get the stats and stuff without having to kill so many bosses because it's getting to the point of ridiculousness. The amount of times you have to like play through each elite dungeon and stuff for certain completionist capes. It feels less completion-y and more like just play the game way too much. Alright, so what are the specific achievements here? We, uh... Okay, we gotta remove pure essence and then we have him hold essence. Alright, so first we'll fill it up. And now we'll run through here. We'll also summon this guy so he can run with us. Have a little, little running companion. And he's gonna fight that guy for us. Pretty cool. Well, by fight, I mean he's gonna punch him once and then run away. Whatever. The Orani Altar was the only runecrafting I ever did. Alright. So we've made it over here. So this should. There we go. It's not a purse. Now, store. Okay, I'm going to put five in you and keep five out. There we go. And does that use the ones that are inside of him? Yeah, it does. That's pretty good. All right, we got um, one astral rune, one death rune, one chaos rune, five law runes, you know, two nature runes. Not a bad conversion right there. Uh, where should we go? We'll go back to the Great Exchange because it is very Christmassy. 
I've not been doing this training method in the Grand Exchange where you can do summoning. I guess it just stays summoning every day? I don't know. It was summoning every time I've looked at it. But maybe I've just not been looking at it. Summoning today, too. Seems a little weird. I don't really know what the deal is. But I've not been doing it. Because I've been fishing. More fishing and fishing and fishing and fishing. That's all I've been doing. Oh, it randomly stops you, too. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm just doing this to goof off. But yeah, so that is us being only one away now from... Oh, I keep clicking on the wrong button. But yeah, one away from this now. We just have to do a fishing trawler in a few episodes. It'll be great. Specifically, oh, we got the uh, this one out of the way before they changed smithing, because who knows, it might have been slightly harder to change smithing. But yeah, let's look at this list of updates. I'm probably going to get interrupted. For Easter, they're looking to add something that isn't removed from the game, like they did with Violet is Blue. So that is good. Um, they're finally going to get rid of Bounty Hunter and move those rewards around, which is nice, because those are some decent rewards. Um, practice mode for raids. A new Slayer resource dungeon for Abyssal Demons. Improvements to Next Angel of Death. The fire making improvements, which improves fire spirits, and of course the balloon network thing I mentioned. Um, incense burners, which will be like the using um, item for uh, the using item, yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, the thing that you use for fire making, like that actually helps, kind of like potions, is what I would describe them as. Those are coming. Um, what else? Okay, so that was the Beyond February stuff. In February, there's a double XP weekend, which is, you know, expected. They have the third Elite Dungeons, and they're going to get rid of the re requirement to do previous Elite Dungeons to do later ones. So I'll finally be able to try the second one and see if I can do it any better than I can the first, because I can't do the first. I've tried. I have tried. They're adding a new Tier 92 two-handed crossbow. They're adding a sequel to Chef's Assistant, which kind of makes me wonder if they've forgotten that they already did that with Recipe for Disaster. So, yeah, it's kind of weird to have two sequels to one quest. But, you know, whatever. It adds a use for the flavored milk from player owned farms, which is good. I was hoping they would add more uses to uh, those type things. Okay, so that's February there. Okay, January, of course, we got the RuneScape Anniversary Cake, because the game's going to be 18 years old, which is ridiculous. Um, the Mining and Smithing rework. Yep, anything else? Um, the Valkyries Return. Oh yeah, they've updated the Haiti, Skull, and Fenrir event to be called Valkyrie's Return. And it makes it to where you don't need other players to do certain things. And oh, they're also doing the um, player-owned farm update to add farm hands and an animal barn for storage. The farm hands do sound useful, and it's part of why I've started doing the farm again, which I'd gotten lazy about. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that update a lot, just because I really do like the player-owned farm, and it will be the way that we get Farming 99 in the coming months. I can be uh, pretty certain that we will get Farming 99 early on in the year, just because I'm going to keep on pushing on that, and it's a very good experience. Yeah, that is uh, all the things they announced in that there thing. And uh, as far as the year goes, you know, we only got so many hours left until the end of the year in RuneScape. My time zone, you know, we got a, a little under 13 hours left, but regardless, I'll probably be doing a little bit of training before then. I might gain some levels, but for all intents and purposes, this is how we're finishing the year. Whether or not I gain, I don't know, like an invention level or something tonight, this is beyond the point, you know? We, we did good. We did okay. You know, the channel itself is doing good. We're at, uh, I think, 172 subscribers right now i believe yes 172 which you know it's not bad considering the breaks i've taken you know how niche my content is a lot of people don't want to watch let's plays of runescape heck my main channel is about to hit 500 subscribers though and i barely even put videos out on that thing i don't know what's going on honestly it's at 498 
A lot of it is actually my older RuneScape videos, too. People subscribe when they watch one of the older ones. Makes me wish I could move them over without having to re-upload them. Actually, it just, it just hit 499 at some point. So recently that the interface hadn't even updated. But the uh, dashboard has. So yeah, I might end the year with 500 subscribers on that main channel, which is halfway to monetization. It's been a while since I've had monetization on either channel. In fact, this channel had just like gotten approved, I think, for monetization, or I just submitted it whenever they changed the rules to that stupid 1,000 requirement. Because like, I get plenty of hours watched to meet that requirement, but they require both hours watched and 1,000 subscribers. Very annoying, but, you know, hopefully we can make good progress on this channel as well for subscribers, you know, get to 500 in 2019, maybe beyond. I'm hoping that, you know, as I get up into that higher tier of combat stuff, maybe I'll learn how to do some bosses people actually like to uh, watch. Like, I hate to say that I could try, like, Araxor or something, because I'll probably fail miserably at that, but... Now, once we hit the combat 99s, I'm not going to have much of an excuse to not at least try. I mean, my equipment's not the best or anything. I still need to get, like, a better, um, helmet. I need to probably switch to the, uh, the Nex armors and augment those instead of having Anima Core. But for now, these are good enough. The main thing is I need to get this helmet upgraded. And obviously... I need to start using a cape. Once we get the max cape, I would definitely be using that in this slot. But for any boss, I would use a skill cape. I just like the teleport, honestly. Obviously, my weapon kind of sucks, too. You know, it is giving me the much-needed invention experience at a more reasonable cost, so that's a thing. But that's enough rambling for the end of the year there. Yeah, like I said, uh, there's a lot to look forward to in 2019, both in terms of the game content. Hopefully the rest of the year pans out well and does not have any lull in content, although they have already said that they don't plan on doing many quests, which is very disappointing. And we already know one of the quests they're doing is a small sequel to Chef's Assistant, so... And maybe not the most impressive year in quests, which, yeah... But, uh, oh well, it gives us a chance to get caught up, at least, in quests. Now, if they keep not doing quests through 2020, that'll be when I get really sad. By then, we should have... You know, we should have no more quests left to do. I'm not saying we'll have every quest done, it's just, like, the quests left will be ones that I'm not doing for a reason. Such as the, uh... Right, I almost forgot, the Dominion Tower. Um, which one has the high score? So, or do I have that one hidden? I think it's this one. Yeah, Dominion Tower. I am at rank 26 now. I could have gone for rank 25, but I was fishing instead. But still, that's one rank higher, I think, than before. I'm just a few trips through away, like one or two, I think, from being on the first page of the high scores, which is amazing. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. That'll be the way I get Prayer 99, which I really want, so I stop getting the daily challenges. That's going to be a high priority as soon as I stop bothering with so much fishing. I'm not sure when that'll be. But yeah, anyway, I keep talking about stuff. Let's just end this year now. I have stuff to do today. I'll see you guys in 2019. Bye!